you know, I read the other day that um, the They're preferred, very alluring. The, like, they, they are. We're kind of going together. <laughs> <laughs> the preferred me method of interpersonal communication between young people now is texting right. rather than face-to-face -face right. communication. Right, and the swiping no. that apes don't Well, that's, that's, a whole, that's, that's a very interesting topic, too, the, the, uh, like the Tinder phenomenon. That's Because right. that, that's an, also a major technological revolution because what it's done, I would say, for the first time, is reduce the cost of rejection to males to zero because it hides it you the only people you ever hear from are people who haven't rejected you although although they true but but there was one, one man who had to make 300 he, he actually tallied it yeah he had to make 300 requests of swiping right or whatever yeah. to for one reply one. so right. i think he right. had the sense of rejection. sure 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 but it's massively attenuated yeah and you know, it's because, not observed yeah you're not you being humiliated not right. at all right. not at all it's really right. it's really at arm's length and you know you can right. swipe very very rapidly and so right. you can get all that rejection over with in a very short period of time right. it's like losing a video game or something mm -hmm. you go mm -hmm. or le well less because worse it's, 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 not a, i mean not nearly as bad yeah so and you know i i i don't know what and I mean, Tinder also reduces the. One of the other things that things that you want to think about with regards to sex, and I think this is probably particularly true for women, is that to what degree is it in women's interests to allow the cost of sex to fall to zero? Because with pornography, certainly does that, and it just seems to me that that's not a very good long-term strategy for relationships between men and women. Because whatever sex is worth, the cost of zero is the wrong price, mm -hmm. and so that's. You know, I, well, you I've can heard go to the from, bunny ranch and pay quite a bit for it. Well, you know? true, true, but you, but that's true. But you, you know, you don't have to. And, no. You know, I've heard from a number of women what written read blog reports on their frustration with their attempts to be relatively sexually selective. Like, let's say they decide that they're not going to sleep with their new partner on the first date. You know, they're frustrated by the fact that to the degree that they're being cautious in their sexual behavior, which I think is actually an admirable idea, that they're instantly outcompeted, especially if their partners are somewhat impulsive, by women who will say yes at the drop of a hat. And so, well, again, I don't think, you know, it depends on what the goal is. That's the thing, is that there's the short terms there's short term sexual gratification but the literature indicates that married couples for example or couples in a permanent long term monogamous relationship are more sexually satisfied than single people and maybe the single people have to be parsed out into those who are sexually successful and those who aren't but i i suspect that wouldn't make that much difference but whatever there's the utility of relatively immediate sexual gratification for whatever that's worth and the adventurousness that goes along with that let's say the hunt and the excitement of having a new partner and all of that and maybe even the danger that's associated with that because people like to have a little bit of danger in their life but what's the goal it's like what do people want and i mean there, there's a great book called a billion wicked thoughts that was written by google engineers and so it contains great psychology because google engineers don't care about political correctness and they just write down what they find and they don't even notice that it's politically incorrect hence james damore for example and what they found was that women use pornography just as much as men but the pornography that women use is verbal it's not imagistic and that the pornographic novels essentially follow the same extraordinarily standard plot line to the degree that publishing houses like Harlequin, which I was going to say, it's the it's the bodice rippers, the that's romance right. novels. Yeah, right. So in, in the Harlequin series, you have you know the ones that were published like in the 1970s that are pretty they're tame. There's a small they, bit they, of, they're pretty hot actually. Well, <laughs> there, there's a variety. They yeah. they range no, from they range from completely them. tame to essentially to hardcore pornography. But the <laughs> but the the plots are quite similar, and the plot is. Um, you know, young, relatively innocent woman finds powerful, interesting, dangerous male, tames him, and then they live happily ever, ever after. Love. Yeah, yes. yeah, and it's the Beauty and the Beast plot, which yes. is a fundamental. Wasn't the which is a biggest search for women on Pornhub? We discovered we did an episode on porn. Was uh, for women? It was rape. Wasn't that like the no show? lesbianism? Or at least that was your porn. Yeah, that was your. That's search. not me. Oh, okay. I don't know. I don't know. You know I what my porn is? Going to the Williams Sonoma store. 